the fleet consists of electric vans, bikes and scooters. The idea is that Yumi will go to its customers, a clean journey which, Yumi believes, will make its service more efficient too. The company says it wants to be transparent with the public about its commitment to the environment. We're going to be uh, um, recording um, everything we do, it'll be, uh, be on our website as well. So we aim to be 100% and all our installers will be using the green vehicles pretty much all the time. Mm -hmm. If for any reason we can't use a green vehicle, um, perhaps doing some heavy heavy duty pulling which might need a, a, a petrol vehicle, mm -hmm. we'll be offsetting the, um, the, uh, that, those kilometres. We'll be purchasing trees basically to cover the, those costs. So we're maintaining the green, or trying to maintain a, a, a carbon neutral um, stance. We've actually been planning to do this for quite a long time now. And it's, it, doesn't, it didn't just start with the vehicles. The vehicles are just one, one part of it. Just to give you an example, we've installed filters in, in our kitchens mm -hmm. and we've already worked out, we've eliminated a, a couple of thousand bottles per year of water mm -hmm. by using the filtered water instead. And along those lines, we're just aiming to, to do everything green that we can. It's, it's not just a, um, we've bought some green vehicles where, hey, take a look. It is a case of we are actually working towards greenness because, I mean, the environment needs it without if companies don't do what we're doing and move towards making everything as green as possible we're going to suffer the consequences. So it is something I think everyone should be doing. At a reveal of the new fleet, Minister for the Environment, John Cortes, congratulated those involved. I asked him if the government had any plans to encourage businesses to make similar moves. I, I like to think that the, the business world will follow examples like this one uh, and that they will uh, be motivated to do it themselves. And the government is already uh, doing some of this itself. Um, whether we have to... Uh, give some other incentives in the future we would have to consider but I don't think we should need to give incentives for something that makes so much sense and that is so fundamentally important for humanity. Yumi says its aim is to be 100% green and that its users can keep tabs on this on its website.